Hey guys, what's happening? So I thought I'd do another speed test uh, on the Solaritas printer. Um, increase the speed from 35k to 50k, and from 600 millimeter to 800 millimeter. So um, I'm gonna go through my Orca slicer settings, and if I see, if you guys see anything I'm doing wrong here, just go ahead and let me know in the comments because I mean I'm still pretty new to the Orca slicer. I'm kind of messing with it for a few months, but um, all right. So right now my current profile is 600 millimeter, 35k. I was able to get that going after I added those capacitors. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what the deal is with that, but I mean, everything works fine. I have a huge buffer now. Um, but all right, so let me go back to, we want to switch this over to 50K. Um, so what's like quality, okay, 0.2 millimeter. I'm running PLA plus, ironing. Okay, so let's go through that. Strength, everything should be the same, and just the speed at which I'm going. So first layer, first layer infill, and then we're going to go this one, outer wall, 800, 800. Um, if you see something I'm doing wrong, let me know. Top service, 200, support, 150. I'm not really using that. All right, and then for speed, we're going to be doing 50,000. And then first layer three thousand, three thousand, and then fifty thousand travel. Okay. Excel to deceleration. Does that mean fifty percent? Uh, so that means like what twenty five thousand coming down. Excel to decel fifty percent. So fifty percent of the Excel to decel. Oh, uh, still figuring this out. So um. If you know if that feature does, let me know. I'm, I'm assuming what it means is if you're doing 50% of the Excel to de-Excel, so if it's 50,000, would that make that 25,000? Um, all right, we'll just see if this works. All right, support, I'm going to do a, add a, uh, and handy mode. I'm just going to do like a Voron cube here. And, um, no support. Oh, I'm gonna do others. I'm gonna do like a okay, yeah, prime ten. Um, then I'm gonna save this profile as eight hundred and fifty k. Okay. All right, let's slice it. And then actually, I need to turn the printer on to be able to upload it. Um, let's see. 26 minutes. Yeah, you can't get to the full acceleration just because it's such a small cube, but on the travels, we'll see some really fast travels. Um, All right, so I'm going to upload it. And we're going to verify that it's there. Penta K800. All right, let me go out and start it. All right, so I preheated the uh, hot end. So I normally print with this PLA Plus around 220, um, but I brought it to 230. 60 uh, degree on the heated bed. Um, so in my last video, I had added the capacitors and I fixed my uh, skipping steps issue. I was actually commenting with another person on YouTube down in the comments. Um, I mean, there could be a voltage problem on my main board. Um, just because I'm running my hot end or my hot end and my heated bed through the main board. So that could be causing a, a, like a voltage drop. So, um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. So this week I'm going to hook up to my oscilloscope and See if I can figure a, a voltage drop, but this capacitor is so far it fixed my issue with the skipping steps. So if you haven't seen that video, it's down below. All right, um, all right, let's do a print. That's the 50k 800. All right, so as as normal as usual, I'm gonna wait for the first layer to come down, and then I'll come back um, once the um, once we're ready to go hit the uh, first layer. Uh, I think I missed it. <laughs> Came pretty fast. So I'm typically not going to be, I guess they're, some, they're not very big travel moves. Um, I have to do the box test like I did in the other video for this thing to really actually move fast. And I verified, you know, before like one of my other videos that my clipper settings weren't, like I, my, my clipper settings are 100k uh, um, acceleration max, so.
So I, I typically will start off with the smaller cube just to see if everything's gonna work. Then I go back with the bigger part and uh, see what actually happens. Millimeter box, 50k, 100 millimeter. So I've been with work as I said for a couple months now. I mean, like four or five months. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the fence. Which one I like better, Cura or uh, Orca Slicer? I just, I've been using Cure for like like five or six years. So, um, let's see here. Going for a big move this way. All right, so I'm running out of film and all that spool. So I'm not gonna finish the print. Um, so it did actually pass 50k, but I'm gonna try these settings in Cura too. I don't know. I just I don't know. I feel I feel like it should be moving faster. So um, let me try these in Cura. All right. So I just had to slice this again in Cura. Guys, doing the uh, the first layer is in like a box. I don't think it's actually the, uh, it's, 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 it's the extruder. It's really the Alright, so I actually did, uh, well, it's funny, I had, when I was doing the Orca slicer, I had pressure advanced disabled in software in the slicer, but then I still had it enabled in Clipper, so, um, it picked it up in Cura. That's why I was having issues. So, yeah, I was, I was like point, point 0.6 uh, of uh, pressure advance, so I had to pull back <laughs> a lot on every single corner, you know? Um, so that, that was a noise, the extruder. So, disable pressure advance. Let's do this again. So I also increased the um, first layer from 140 to 200. Well, like maybe there's a checkbox in Orca that I'm not actually unchecking or something because like when I use Cure, I tell it to do 400 millimeters per second, it does 400 millimeters per second, regardless, you know? Whereas I don't know if it's, you know, Orca's trying to calculate the best speeds for the printer or something, but um, I have way, feel like I have way more control over the printer with uh, Cura. So I'm sure I'm probably doing something wrong. All right, so I'm doing this on Cura again. So I increased the uh, first layer to 200 millimeters per second. Let's see. Doesn't mean actually what I'm getting though. I think once I get towards the outside, it's probably going to go. That's what I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put that extruder to hang. So, yeah, it's obviously a lot more smoother on the pressure advance. If you're new to this channel, that's the better than staff in this. For my uh, get up and all fingers. Film keeps on breaking. I mean, the film is really brittle because it's so old, so I keep on losing it. Alright, 20 millimeters per second. Yeah, I need to get better film. This film definitely can't hold up to this. 
Look at that noise in the background. Look how fast that's weird in the middle. That's pretty nuts. Alright, I gotta try some different film with that. Alright, so that was a good test. I'm learning a lot there. So I'm, I can keep on trying. I'm trying to find the weaknesses in this thing. Um, I mean, it's not a vibration more than I want. In certain, in certain areas, like in this back corner. But, um, I, I think I need to escalate the machining of my new hot end called the Air Express. Um, you know, high flow. It's going to be longer, but it's going to channel air in. So if it's the air coming from the sides, it's going to hit the channel air into the tip. Um, so I'm going to machine it probably on my indexer. Um, well, if you're not familiar with what an indexer is, it's basically it just spins it around and it cuts it from multiple angles in one shot. So like make a cut, spin it, and make a cut. Um, Alright, so my filament, I mean, this thing, you could see how crazy fast those, the wheels were moving. But it was somehow like not grabbing. Like it was breaking, but I could push it in and grab it again. So it was like it was like breaking the filament, uh, not from this side, but mainly from when I was grabbing. So I was pushing it back in to have it grab it again. Um, so without pressure advance on, this thing was able to hang. That's actually why I had the well. I designed it so I could put a really huge motor up there. Um, so I don't know. Like I always upgrade to like a 16. I actually have 60 millimeter motors, um, but I don't think that's even. I don't know. We'll see. I think that, well, the film is really old and it's really brittle. It breaks easy, so. All right, just uh, messing around with this thing. Um, all right, so. But I know it passed the uh, 50,000 and 50K move. So I was able to hang 50K moves without locking the motors up. So uh, my last video, I, the capacitor seemed to fix that issue. So um, good with there. But. All right, so you saw I was in the slicing? Let me know down below. All right, awesome.